Hello there, everybody, and it is a new night, and it is a new vlog. I've never used that one before. I um, mean, you know, I've been using that catchphrase for about a year now, so why not mix it up with something I will probably never ever use again? Anyways, guys, how's it going? So to, for today's vlog, there's a small comic convention literally like 10 minutes away from my house. I could honestly walk there if I want to. I'm not going to, but I could. Um, but yeah, it's a small convention, and um, nothing big, but who knows? Sometimes these small conventions, you can hit the absolute jackpot with them, so... Who knows? We're gonna find out anyways in the morning. I'll see you guys then. All right, you ready to do this? Ready. Let's do this. $3 Star Wars figures where they have a two for five deal, but uh, I didn't really see anything besides Anakin to uh, replace my broken one from 2008. And a bunch of minifigures here, but I don't see any Star Wars things, just City, Harry Potter kind of stuff. No Star Wars, so I think just the Anakin. Oh, dude, they actually have Lego here. Look at this, look, wait, look at this, like an old winner's sticker. <laughs> wait, how, how much? I want to say that's, how much does it say? $90. No, 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 like below the winner's sticker. Like there's a red sticker under there. Oh, this is like open though. I mean, that makes sense for the price, but that's cool, but I don't know if I really need it. 30 bucks for Mando Battle Packs, not terrible, honestly, because these retail for 20 and it's like, it's not terrible. This one they're offering. Is this sealed? Wait, is this from 2000? This is sealed. I don't know, I might come back for that maybe. We'll look around a bit. I can always do way better deals on these ones too. Sure thing. Ooh, tons of Star Wars stuff here. That is quite the price for little Annie. This is literally peg warming at like other stores for like. Yeah, there's a lot of figures here. I don't know about these prices though. Man, dude, $100 for the Ahsoka clone. That's wild. I had 60 for Costco when I paid, like, I think, like, 25 for her on uh, Amazon. That was literally just this, like, Christmas, too. Dude, this Anakin set, though, is so cool. Like, look at, look at that. It's like you can turn him into Darth Vader, and it has, like, everything. That is actually so sick. Man, I really love this clone captain, but I don't know about 70 for it. It is pretty clean though, that is pretty sick. Serbians. I had a friend who went to Serbia and brought me a lot of books. Oh, oh anytime. There's a lot of my friends who travel and I don't. How much for the Shadow Storm? <laughs> eh. I don't know about that. Jet Trooper? Yeah, I don't know about that one either. Should buy this for my friend Eric. He loves Ewoks, man. When I was in Europe, he loves like, you. That's actually not a bad price for, like, uh, for uh, like, uh, what's like, Poplo? It's actually because I think this retail for about twenty, so that's actually not bad, actually. I really dig this boba, actually. Like I know this is like one of the newer ones, so the articulation is garbage, but like I don't know, it looks really clean just in the box. My, I don't know, maybe we'll think about it. Damn pre-vintage collections. This is like before TVC. I really want to get the Boba Fett from this line because I think that one looks super awesome. Man, dude, it's crowded here. It's crowded. You want a tiara? <laughs> no, we came for Star Wars toys. We're looking for Star Wars. We'll, we'll come back. Depends. We'll see what we have in the budget. Dude, I really want to get that Darth Revan, but I'm not going to spend that. I am going to get this, though. The VC-45 uh, re-release of the Clone Trooper. Because uh, 15 Bones actually is pretty good for it. Also, this is probably the most LEGO I've ever seen at a convention, but they don't have any Star Wars stuff, so it's like, what's even the point, man? I mean, I guess if you're not into Star Wars, it's pretty good, but for me... Buzz Lightyear? I don't see Buzz Lightyear. Oh, oh, I thought you meant a LEGO. Yeah, he's super yellow, look at that. 
Dude, look at this. Some original Kenner figures right here. Oh, look at that. Collect all 77. That'll set you back quite... If you want them in box, that'll set you back quite a, quite a bit. Oh, this one's really cool. I mean, I'm not going to buy these because... You know, but like, that's really cool just to see in person. That's super awesome. Why, well, you like that one? But it's not real leather. But look, I think you should buy it. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. I mean, actually, that's not actually terrible. But... The Sidit. <laughs> Back. I think I'm gonna go with this. I was debating on it, but I looked around and didn't see much. Yes, sir. I just want the flash speeder, please. Sorry? I just want to buy that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yo, I think I know that guy. I, I feel like I feel I've seen him on like a billboard before. Okay, quick stop at GameStop right after the con and check this out. They actually have new figures. They have uh most of half about half of the uh, new TVC wave. They got Luke. Uh, they got Cal, and the uh, probably the coolest one in my opinion is the Artillery Storm. I just really like how he has like the little mortars, and I don't know, he's really cool. Cal's also pretty cool, um, and they also have the uh, the Grand Inquisitor, which um, for whatever reason GameStop didn't get these until just now. But hey, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Um, maybe maybe come back. I don't know. I already spent enough today. I think so. I think we're good in that department. Okay, we're back. Pretty fun event overall. Would you say? I had fun. It was. It was very crowded though, because it's a small venue. It felt like I was, what you, it felt like I was walk, walking through my grandfather's closet because there's a bunch of stuff that's cool, antique stuff, um, and it's um, very crowded, very hard to walk through. But anyways, we got some cool stuff, so let's dive into that right now. So in total, everything we got was uh, 83 bucks. So um, for $15, uh, it was just has a little, you know, but honestly for 50, it was not too bad uh, for the VC45 re-release of the Clone Trooper. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and then this was five bucks. Um, this was actually probably one of the best deals I got. The rest of the games at the table were like, I wouldn't say that they were over overpriced. They were just, they weren't, they weren't wheeling in any deals there, but uh, this was five bucks. I know it says 15, but that's actually an old GameStop sticker. Um, this was five bucks. So that was, um, very solid deal for, uh, for Splinter Cell Double Agent. Um, and then for three bucks, um, this is the wrong lightsaber for him, but I've been meaning to replace my, uh, original Anakin because, uh, the one I have is, this is my original one from when I was a kid, and, um, yeah, he's, he, he's seen better days. He's been to Mustafar and back, but, um, yeah, I was really happy to finally, finally get a replacement in for that guy. And this is probably my favorite find, um, is the Flash Speeder 7-1, oh, it's not in focus. Get in focus. Okay, there we go. Um, this is a 7124 flash speeder, uh, sealed in box. You can see no some tabs were pushed on this. Um, very cool, very happy. I'm not gonna open this. I literally just want this just as honestly just as a conversation piece. This is really cool set from the 2000s and Star Wars Phantom Menace. So pretty good haul overall. I'm pretty happy with everything. <laughs> <laughs> 